I want to go straight into this video so that I talk as a Zambian because this is year one has been talking as a Nigerian. Now I want to address the three people I'm addressing tonight. Sia 1, Bali, and ECL. Why am I going to talk about these people? First of all, I'm going to talk about Sia 1 because Sia 1 is not a, a Zambian, but a foreigner. And I, I don't know if he's even Nigerian, if he's not from Benin Republic, but he pretends to be Nigerian because it's possible in Nigeria that you can be from Benin Republic. Benin Republic. In, in Nigeria, they call it Benin Republic. And be associating yourself with Nigeria. Because if Siawan is indeed a Nigerian, why is it that those Nigerian celebrities cannot associate with him? Why is it that Siawan, I'm telling you that Siawan is a non entity in Nigeria? That's why he knows to say Zambians, a lot of Zambians are gullible people, they like papas. This is the more reason why he, the only place he can make it as a papa is, is, is in this country. He can only make it in this country as a papa. Nigerians don't take nonsense. That's why he can't take that nonsense to Nigeria. That's why he has failed to succeed as a papa in Nigeria and is ever poking his nose in Zambia. Because if Siawan knew that, if Siawan is indeed a prophet, why didn't he prophesy about Tinibu? Why didn't Siawan uh, campaign for uh, Gregory Obi, Peter Obi, Peter Gregory Obi? Why didn't he campaign for him? If Siawan was indeed a prophet, why didn't he foresee? The, the falling currency in Nigeria. Why didn't he prophesy that in Nigeria? Why is it that he has to be stuck to Zambia? Even when he has left, even when he has left Zambia, he's in Nigeria. Why is he stuck with Zambia? It's because he knows to say, in Zambia is where we entertain nonsense. In Nigeria, they don't entertain nonsense. That's why he can't talk about Nigeria. Because when he talks about Nigeria... They will, uh, they will remove Amanan, Yukoma gadgets. What do you call it? They will castrate him. They will castrate him because Nigerians don't take nonsense. Nigerians don't entertain nonsense. So that is the more reason why that CR1 is ever talking about Zambia. Why has he felt he has failed to talk about Nigeria? Charity begins at home. If charity begins at home, why has Siawan failed to deal with issues in his own country? Why has he failed to prophesy about Nigeria? The people, does Siawan know that in Nigeria, there is Boko Haram, there is all these rebel leaders, the insecurities in that country, the security uh, systems in that country are, are failing. Why is he not talking about the security of his people in Nigeria who are being killed every day? Why can't Sia One focus on those people? Why does he have he has to run to Zambia? Because Zambia, that's where we have gullible people who go in the name of papas. Now here, Sia One, I'm telling you, there is no room for papas. There is no room for papas. You fix your economy in Nigeria. You focus on the problems of Nigeria. Stop focusing on the problems of Zambia. You will never come back to Zambia. You will never step your foot in this country. You will never. You will never step your foot in this country. You focus on Nigeria. You focus on building. Because if you were indeed a prophet, a true prophet, you can be now, you can be comforting Nigerians. Because Nigerians, the economy is bad. The economy in Nigeria is bad. Why are you not focusing on Nigerian economy? You always talk about Zambian music. Why don't you talk to Bene Davido? If you are indeed a, an influential person, why is it that we have never seen you with Davido? The most influential people in Nigeria were called at Davido's wedding. Why were you not called at Davido's wedding? If you see a one are indeed powerful, why didn't Peter Obi glory, or Peter Obi, uh, that opposition, why didn't Abu Bakr, that guy, those opposition leaders, Call you 
to work with them if you are indeed a prophet of change. Because how is it that your prophecies and your, pro your, 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 your gift of changing governments is only in Zambia and not in your own country? How? Because you must prophesy about change in your country, not change in other countries. You are always focusing on other countries, on Zambia especially. Why don't you talk about Museven? If you see a one a true prophet and a true leader as you, as you think you are, go to Uganda and talk about Museven and we shall see if Museven will even think we even know can. Kagame, there were elections in Rwanda. Kagame won elections. Why didn't you prophesy? Why didn't you prophesy? Because you know that those ones, <laughs> they will follow you where you are and finish you. You are a non-entity where... Wow. Well, you are a non-entity and you are ever talking about Zambia because you know to say Zambians, there is a lot of garbage people who believe in that nonsense of your oil. That oil, you have no powers. Which powers do you have? If you are the powers, if you indeed you are, you are the powers, a god of powers or whatever it is, why have you failed to use those powers to change poverty in your country? Why have you failed to change poverty in your country if indeed you are a powerful person? If you are indeed a powerful person, why have you failed? Why did you fail to travel to Rwanda? Why did, have you failed to, to advise Museveni? Why have you failed to advise presidents in Africa? Other presidents in Africa. Why have you failed to do that? You, you, you always talk about Zambia because Zambians are gullible and desperate. You have seen the desperation in Zambians to, to, to make riches faster. Those nonsense oils don't even work. That nonsense oil doesn't work. Why is it that you always have to market your oil in Zambia? Why is it that your oil, your blessings, your powers have failed to change lives in Nigeria? Why have they failed to change lives in Nigeria? Those your powers, your so-called powers, your Sangoma powers, you have failed to change lives in Nigeria. You want to come and change lives in Zambia. Idiot. Who do you think? You are nothing in West Year One. You are nothing. You are just a squambapa. You are just a squambapa. You are nothing. There is no way. And you Zambians, because you listen to papas, you believe that papas are those who come from outside the country. No, we have Zambian pastors here. We have pastors in Zambia. We have men of God in Zambia. True men of God, true men of God that even fear God properly, than that nonsense, than that, 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 that thing, that Sangoma, that, that guy was nothing. That guy, you Zambians forget that, that guy, that self-proclaimed papa, was saying that he's the one who was behind the death of Karisto Chitamfia Jr. He talked about saying he was the reason why Karisto Chitamfia Jr. died. Why would you Zambians still believe and still support a person that claims to have killed a Zambian. You Zambians, open up your minds. How can a papa... You've got your pastors. You've got pastors. You've got bishops. You've got all these people. Why can't you go to those, your pastors? Why can't you go to your men of God? But you're relying on that nonsense called Sia One. Sia One, you're nothing. You are nothing. Stop even involving Bali. Stop involving HH in your nonsense. Wolf. There is no way. You, there is no way. HH can allow you to come. You thought that you can, you can, you can brainwash HH. You can't brainwash HH. You can't brainwash this government that is there. You can't brainwash them. They don't believe in papa powers. Believing in working. The reason why... Is, look, right now you are failing to succeed in your country. So now you have you have no food where you are staying. You have not you are faking a life. Now you want to come to Zambia. Now the way of coming to Zambia, there is no way of coming to Zambia. Now you want to be a prophet of doom over Zambia. You shall not prophesy doom over Zambia. Makaka Musulawe. There is no way. There is no, you have no, there is no, if there is power, why has that power failed to work in Nigeria? That power only works in Zambia. 
You want to just use that power can only work in Zambia. That power, that oil, that whatever it is, it only fails to work in it, it only works in Zambia. It can't work in Nigeria. It can't work in other countries. How? Only you Zambians who are, who are brainwashed will believe that that nonsense of power can touch anyone. That nonsense of power cannot touch this country. It cannot touch anyone. Because we are covered by the blood of Jesus. Do you understand? You think us we can be scared of you. No, no, no. Everyone is scared of you. Me, I'm not scared of you. Me, I'm not scared of you because my God is bigger than you. Your powers can't work in... They, they, they only focus on Zambia. Why have they failed to work in Nigeria? Why have your powers, your superpowers, your so-called Godfather, why has your Godfather failed to prophesy in Nigeria? Why failed to work in Nigeria? It only works in Zambia. Why? How? You see one are ever focusing on Zambia, ever talking about Zambia. Can you move on? Can you move on? Move on. Every day you can't be talking about Zambia. Zambia this, Zambia this, Zambia this, Kalaba this, Kalaba. Everyone in Kalaba was in an accident, Kalaba this, Kalaba that. Why have you failed to focus on Nigerian footballers, Nigerian musicians? Why have you failed to focus on your own people? Focus on your own people. We will also focus on our own people and our own problems. Focus on your own problems. Focus on your own problems. You can't just be focusing on Zambia this. No, Zambia, I see that. Ah, nonsense. Nonsense. Not here. You think you can tell everyone. You think you will, will watch you talk about talk rubbish about Zambia and we shall just watch you. You think everyone will be... Not every Zambian is gullible. Not every Zambian is useless. Do you understand? You are a finished thing. See, I want, I'm telling you that you are finished. You are finished. You are, see, I want, you are finished. You are nothing. You are just an idiot. You have no power over Zambia. Anyway. You have no power over Zambia. How can you always be talking about go and prophesy about Nigeria? Prophesy Nigeria, we see. Prophesy about Nigeria. Prophesy about Tinibu. Prophesy about Peter will be glory. Peter, prophesy about Abubakar. Prophesy about those leaders in Nigeria. Don't prophesy about Zambia. Zambia is a Christian nation. We don't believe in Sangomas. You have failed to prophesy in Nigeria. You have failed to change lives in Nigeria. You think you can change lives in Zambia. You can't change lives in Zambia. Anyway. You can't change lives in Zambia. You think you can come and change lives in Zambia. You think you can come here and come to Zambia and say, Oh, Zambia this, Zambia this. Which of your parents are Zambian? You don't even have any roots in Zambia. You, the only roots you have in Zambia was that you were molesting girls. You were molesting girls. You were sleeping with your church members. You were doing wrong things in the name of being a papa. You have no right. You have no integrity. You have no moral standing to talk about Zambia because your history is about sleeping with different married women, different women, molesting children, molesting different people in the name of oil, in the name of anointing. And today you think that you have powers over Zambia. Which God is going to allow that nonsense to talk about Zambia? Which nonsense? Only a mad person will listen to your nonsense. Only a mad person will believe in this. Is young coco, see young kong 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 kong, see a vong coco, see a chopet. Why? You have failed. If you are indeed a prophet, can you go and talk? We want to see you change the lives of Nigerians. We want you. We want to see the influence that you have. Talk about Nigeria and let us hear if the Nigerian president will listen to you. Let us talk about Nigeria and we hear if Nigerians will listen to you. Now Nigerian can ever listen to you because you are a nonentity.
non-entity. You are a non-entity. That's why there is no Nigeria that knows you. There is no you. You can't even stay in Banana Island in Lagos. You can't. Have, you can't be staying in Banana Island, Ikeja, Ikoi. You can't stay in those places, Victoria Island. You can't stay in those places. If you are powerful, if you were all powerful, why is it that you didn't talk about Nigerian elections? Why don't you talk about Nigerian politics? Why don't you talk about South African politics that you are going on in South Africa? Why didn't you talk about South African politics? Why didn't you talk about Rwandan politics? Why don't you talk about Uganda? Why don't you talk about... Why is it that yours is only focused on Zambia? It's because you've got interest in Zambia. You want to come and mine in Zambia. Now there's no one who's going to give you a mining license in Zambia. Over my dead body. As long as a church is on the throne, you will never step in this country. That's why you want to come back to Zambia because they are promising you those thugs that were there before, they are promising you to come and give you mining licenses. They will not give you, they will use you. Again, they will use you. But there is no Zambian you are going to influence as long as I am alive, as long as I'm here. I see a one every day, see a one, see a one, see a one, see a one, see a what, see a what. Uko queen, you not actually see a one. You actually see a 20. I will finish you to see a hundred. From one to see a hundred. You are see a zero. After I say, me I'm see a zero. You are see a hundred. Watch it, you're too small. I've been watching you for a long time. I've been watching you. I've been seeing you. But you think that us, we are, we are gullible people. You once, once, one time you were threatening, one time you were telling me, no, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, me, I don't pay nonsense to that nonsense. I don't pay attention to that nonsense. See a chop it. See a chop it, see a hundred. You can't be a see a one in this country. You go queen, eh? you are finished. After you are finished, Finished, finished. You are finished. You are finished. That's why you can't survive where you are. If you are indeed the prophet, if you are indeed you are the power, why have you failed to use those powers in Nigeria? And I'm, I'm repeating this point. Why have you failed to use those powers in Nigeria? Why have you failed to use those powers in other countries? Every day, Zambia. Every day, Zambia. What has Zambia done to you? You want to come and finish our women here. You want to come and sleep with more women here. You want to come and finish our women here. You want to come and sleep with more women. You want to come and finish more women here. You can't finish our people here. You can't finish our people. No one, if people are scared of you, me, I'm not scared of you. I want you to know that me, I'm not scared of you. You need to know that me, I'm not scared of you. We are not scared of you. Because if your powers are indeed powerful, you would have changed in Nigeria. Because charity begins at home. Charity begins at home. Go and fix in Nigeria. Fix your people. Not for coming to fix here. You have no power to speak on behalf of Zambians. You have no power to, pick up, to speak on behalf of Zambians. Only us Zambians will be able to defend ourselves. 